One of the first things you should know is lay out all your fittings. They're so much easier to find and it speeds the process up a lot. Okay, but the first thing we did is we ran a main line over to here. That's our main cold line. And we assembled everything first when we wanted it, and then we screwed it all up, and then we clamped it all together. So in case we want to make changes, so we have our main cold line coming over. Now this this is not going to fix all the problems in the house, but it'll take care of a lot of them. And we'll do the cut-ins all at one time so the melting isn't without water. And then out of the hot water tank, here's our main feed for the, the hot water. We can do that in red. And then we have takeoffs. Half inch takeoffs. One set for the uh, washing machine. Well, one set for the for the sink. And we'll have a set for the kitchen. And that's in the other direction. Now one thing that's my pet stoming. To add in, all you gotta do is cut the line and add your fenning in and crimp it. And of course you can see the the diameter of the packs, which we'll we'll talk about a little bit later on in a minute. And that's uh, where we're at as far as eliminating our, our galvanized pipe in the morning. And by doing this, we'll get rid of all the galvanized pipe. That's limiting our, our water pressure in the morning. Okay, so that's all we did today on uh, our pex job. Trying to straighten some of this out. So we'll, we'll continue on and I'll, I'll shoot some more footage of what we did and what we're doing. And we have, one thing I want to mention, we have three quarter inch mains and our tank offs are half inch. Just like you would do with a copper fitting system. The PEX is much faster and a lot easier to do and it's easier to add things to it.